Hi, my name is Matt Weintra, and I'm a sales engineer here at Hypertronics. At Hypertronics, we develop high voltage testing solutions. Today, I'm going to show you how to test the GE power back provided to us by Circuit Breaker Sales Northeast. We're going to be testing it using the 100 HV TDI AC high pod. Come with me and I'll show you how to make the connections. First, let's set up our grounds. Connect the ground cable to the stud on the front panel of the controller. Remember, ground is always the first connection made and the last removed. For this test, we are also going to ground the lower stud of the breaker. Next, let's connect our leakage current measurement cable. This cable with the red collar is our leakage current measurement cable. The other end of this cable is going to go to our DUT, or device under test. We have it here connected to the lower stud of the breaker. Our next connection is going to be our voltage measurement. We're going to plug it in here. The other end of this cable is going to go to the base of the bonnet where it says VM. Next, let's connect our HV probe. You'll see here this hook hooks right onto the top termination, and the other end, B and C, is going to connect to where it says VM probe. Next, we're going to connect our interconnect cable. This, fit, this cable right here. And lock it in. This cable is made up of two parts. This larger cable, which supplies power to the transformer, and this BNC cable. This larger cable is going to connect to the cable coming off of our high voltage transformer. Now we're ready to connect our high voltage transformer to our DUT. For this breaker, we're going to be using a conductive rod to bring the high voltage from the transformer to the upper stud of the open breaker. Let's use our safety strobe light. Let's plug in the unit and start our test. Let's test in automatic mode. Once you have selected automatic mode, you will see parameters for over voltage, over current, the type of test we're going to be doing, and the test procedure. Since we'll only be doing one step in this test, let's get rid of steps two and three. Now let's set up our over voltage and over current. Our over voltage is set to 100 kV and our over current is set to its max setting. Now let's set up our procedure. We'll be going at 500 volts per second or 0.5 kV per second to reach our manufacturer recommended test voltage of 36 kV. And we'll dwell For five seconds. Once we have that, we're ready to start. It's asking us would we like to create a new preset with the current parameters. For this test, well, let's not create a new one. Watch as the test begins, our high voltage safety strobe is turned red to alert all people in the area that we are testing at high voltage. The automatic mode carries out the test for us. We can see the meters that our voltage is ramping steadily and our current is holding. From this screen, we also see what step of the, of the procedure we're in, our max settings, and a real-time measurement of the resistance. By clicking on these screens, we can change the 
the view from an analog meter design to a digital meter design. Note, this blue bar tracks our progress. Notice when we, when we reached our max setting, our timer kicked in for our five second dwell time. Once the test is finished, we get a notice saying our test complete. From here, we can save or save and export. Let's save and exit out. To view our report, let's go back to the home and click reports. You'll notice here we have our test complete, test mode is an automatic, and the date and time. Let's select to view. Here's our test in a graphic format. If we wanted to, we can now export this test. Thank you for watching this demonstration of the 100 HVTDI for testing vacuum breakers. For more information, visit our website, hypertronics.com, or send us an email at sales at hypertronics.com.